How's it going, YouTube? Dr. Slacking, the Slacking Doctor, back again with our Pokemon Fire Red Doctor Love. And if you missed out the last episode, I figured something out about YouTube, which I didn't know before, because the playlist, it seems, on my videos aren't working very well on the side tab. So if you missed any of the previous episodes, the playlist will be linked in the description below to make sure it's easy for you guys to find, because I think that hasn't been happening, so I apologize for that. So from now on, the playlist will always be linked in the description below, so you can catch all the rest of the Doctor Lock from previous episodes. You might be looking at this and thinking, where are you? What's going on? Why are you staring at your reflection philosophically? What are you thinking? What is in-game Doc contemplating? Well, he's contemplating two new encounters in this episode. He's also contemplating what happened between episodes. I healed up the squad, as promised, and I also did some grinding. So Miller, our Mrs. Mime, has been leveled up to level 37, now kind of in line with the rest of the squad. She also learned Psybeam, which is real nice. I went into this fire zone, I found the Warden's Teeth, so we've got strength, and I also picked up Surf. While I was in there, I was speeding up and spamming A, so I also accidentally caught a Clam Pearl, a Meowth, and a Tentacle all of which have been released, so if you see a little Pokeball next to any of their names in Wild Encounters in the future and you think, hey, he hasn't had one of those in the series, what's going on? That was my bad, just accidental captures while I was in there. They've all been released, so they won't affect the game at all. Um, and that's that really. I found some items in there. The only things worth writing home about was a Luxury Ball, which was nice, and a TM. The TM is for um, Crab Hammer. I wanted to do this on screen. Crab Hammer is a pretty decent move. I believe Water's special in this generation, so I think I'm going to teach Crab Hammer to Miller. Miller has been putting in work during episodes. Her special attack is pretty high, so I think we're going to sack off Reflect, or possibly Double Slap. Now I don't ever see us using Reflect, so we're going to get rid of Reflect. Now we have four attacking moves. That's a lot of PP because Magical Leaf only has like 10 PP. So grinding her up was just like, you could do 10 battles, then you go back to the Pokemon Center because Double Slap essentially is useless. Um, it's just on there. We also picked up Seismic Toss, um, which we might teach someone at some point. Um, I don't even know who can use it. No one that really needs it can use it. So we'll save that. It could be useful. I say we got Surf. No one can Surf. And we picked up Strength. Zacharias and Edvard could use strength. Um, Edvard already has cut. That's the problem. And I like the rest of his moves. Um, Zacharias. Zacharias, to be fair, let's have a look at Zacharias' level up learn set. Because Zacharias doesn't really, I think, like ancient power and wing attack is pretty much it. So, yeah, honestly... It's just a more accurate version of takedown, slightly less powerful, but I think we're going to rock with that, to be honest with you. I think we're going to do that. We're going to keep Bite for Psychic types, I guess. Although, to be honest, Bite's so weak, we might as well not have done. Just hoping we pick up like Crunch or something on route through. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go straight into this, and we're going to get this encounter, which I'm super excited about. See what's see what's popping in this grass. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Sneasel's kind of nice. Yeah, I'm down for that. I'm definitely down for that. We are going to double slap because, like I said, it does essentially nothing. So we will be cool here. Even though we're 10 levels higher, Miller is so weak in the physical attack department that we are all good. Um, come on. That's fine, you can taunt us all you want, Sneasel. Let's pick this up. Let's pick this up. Don't do too many, Miller. I think we'll be fine. We're going to go for one more, because I don't know what Sneasel's catch rate's like, but I, if I can catch it in a Pokeball, then I want to. So I don't think even five would kill it from this range. Two, three. That's perfect. There we go. In the red. Thank you very much, Miller. Honestly, I love Miller. I was, like, I was pretty intrigued about having a Mr. Mime on the team. I was like, let's see how this works. Um, as you can see, I brought a couple of Ultra Balls and we picked up a Luxury Ball. Yeah, I was pretty excited just to see what Miller was like, to what Mr. Mime was like. Um, and I've been really impressed, like grinding him up, I've been really impressed. I've grinding her up, sorry, I've been really impressed. So like, I, I think really going to be a powerful member of the squad. For us, it's our first special attacker, really. All the rest of, uh, well, I mean, Deepak was a special attacker. 
Rest in peace, Deepak. Um, but the rest of our team are all physical attackers. We're going to go for an ultra ball now because this is just taking the mickey a little bit. Um, this should catch. I don't see this being a problem at all. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, we're going to speed this up. We're going to go back to Pokeballs because I don't want to waste another ultra ball. That doesn't matter that's super effective. That's not doing much. Oh, come on, Sneasel. This is a joke. This is a joke. Really? You're mad, Sneasel. Okay, we're going to go for one more Ultra Ball. This should catch, surely. I don't think I have anything with... Oh, Georgios has... Oh, no, Georgios is gone. That's a Georgios has hypnosis. Okay, we did get the Sneasel. I mean, no use so many Pokeballs. Um, that's not ideal at all. I'm going to make a quick cut here while I give this a nickname, or while I find a nickname, because it always takes me too much time to get a nickname, so back in a sec. And I'm back, and I managed to get a name. It's a bit of a pain, the uh, random name generator they use, I just thought it'd be quicker to do it like that than me sit here and struggle on camera with it and just add a necessary time to the video. So it's going to be called Dougal, Dougal the Sneasel, um, which Dougal, I'm pretty sure, is uh, the son of McGowan. Um, Dougal is a character from, or a name from a character from a British sitcom, um, or an Irish sitcom, I guess, actually, but it was on the BBC, I think, possibly, or maybe Channel 4, maybe Channel 4, uh, but anyway, doesn't really matter, called, um, called Father Ted, I think it was Dougal Maguire was one of the vicars in that, uh, now, over here, I'm just going to check, I think there's a Snorlax, there is, we only have one Pokeball, so I'm not messing with that right now, so actually, after just adding Dougal Maguire to the team, I'm going to make another very quick cut, and I'll see you back in uh, Future City to buy some more Pokeballs, so see you in a second. And we're back. And as you can see, I'm in the Pokemon Center just checking out Dougal. It has a bold nature, which usually would be horrendous, but Dark, I think, is special in this game, and Ice might even be special too in this game, in which case both of its stabs aren't going to be affected by its drop and attack, because Bold, if you don't know, lowers its attack and boosts its defense, I believe, unless that's Brave, but I'm pretty sure it's Bold. Um, has Inner Focus, which is all right. So looking at it, Oh, actually, no, its attack is still way higher than special, so let me double check then. Bold decreases attack and increases defense, so obviously this thing just has horrendous, horrendous special attack, which isn't great then. Um, that really isn't great, unless ice is physical, in which case its nature is pretty counterproductive anyway. It's just not, not a great mon there, really. Um, not a great example of a Sneasel is a better way of putting it, I suppose. The other thing I want to do in Future City, which is why I said I'd see you here rather than just healing up, buying Pokeballs and then meeting you wherever, is because I want to move this and see what item is hidden behind here. I didn't do this off camera because I thought, well, why not get this one together, see what it is. Um, please be a Master Ball. Nope. <laughs> not that lucky. Uh, still, you know, an escape rope could come in handy. I actually, during the grinding between episodes, I was in Rock Tunnel, is it, again, and... I literally spent so long lost in there because I still don't have Flash, obviously. Um, and yeah, uh, so actually, Maribella leveled up because while we were in Rock Tunnel, I was trying to grind up um, Miller and. Uh, da -da. What's, what's our the school called? Engelbert. I was trying to level up uh, Engelbert and Miller. But in the end, they both ran out of PP, I think, so I had to, to bring out Maribella. So she did level up because I ran into a couple of trainers in there that I obviously hadn't fought on my original way through. Um, we're going to keep Miller in the lead. Um, I'm going to see what our boy Snorlax is cosplaying as today. What are you dressed up as? Is it going to be another x -Bloud? Whatever it is, I hope we can catch it. We have something like two Ultra Balls, one Great Ball and a luxury ball so this is going to be interesting okay a slow bro could it take a magical leaf it can take a side beam for sure i think the easiest way is just to whistle it down with side beam how is it going to do we're pretty bulky on the special side so yeah we're okay we're going to speed this up a little Ooh, that did more. We're not going to speed it up. We're not going to speed it up because that did a little bit more than I was expecting. Ooh, we get the crit. We get the crit. Okay. All right, that's fine. How much is that doing? 14. We're cool. We're cool. We're cool. 14 is not a problem. Um, I think we're just going to go straight for the Ultra Ball here. I imagine Slowbro's got a pretty high catch rate, so 
I don't rate our chances with a great ball or luxury ball, to be honest with you. There we go. There we go. That's pretty sweet. Let's get a nickname for this thing. I have the random name generator up and ready. So hopefully it can be quick and I won't need to make a cut. He says, oh, there we go. He's, it's not bad that time. Arturas. Arturas. That sounds uh, kind of like South American, maybe. I know Arturo is a kind of Spanish sounding name. So Arturas. Arturas. It's a good name. Kind of Latin sound name. His surname is Bauman. B-A-U-M-A-N-N. -N. Another kind of German sounding surname there. Arturas Bauman. Um, mixed European heritage there for our slow bro, I think. Um, if I'm not mistaken, we've already got an encounter up here. This feels, this looks very familiar. Maybe not, because we haven't battled these two. Ooh, maybe not then. Um, I'm going to get an encounter here. And I will go back and check if we've had one from here before. And if we have, then obviously I will release whatever we catch. That was nice and easy. I maybe should have been more careful looking at Miller's health with a Bennett out there. Um, oh, Hugo. Didn't even think of that when I saw the Bennett. Oh, I miss Hugo. Um, but Miller's looking cool. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to... Maybe we haven't been here, so let's get an encounter. Hope this isn't the same route as a cycling path. If it is, then do you know what? Let's just be on the safe side. Let's just be safe. Rather than wasting... Pokeballs, let's just be safe. We definitely been to Celadon before, so it is possible that we'd already got that encounter. Huh. So I'm missing something, aren't I? Where do I get the Gonna make another quick cut because either I need to give them is it like the tea or something for them to drink, or or I'm supposed to be surfing to blame. But I'm sure I'm supposed to be doing Sabrina now, so we're gonna make a quick cut while I get my bearings and think straight. See you in just a second. And we're back. And just as I suspected, I just quickly googled where you got the tea from because like I've said this a few times, I'm not an expert on this generation. I picked up the tea, so now we should be able to get through to saffron. Um, I'm now thinking maybe I did do this out of order, you know, maybe I was supposed to do Sabrina before, um, before Koga, uh, I really don't remember, but anyway, we might as well go on in here, because I believe we're supposed to get a, another, if this is a double battle, then I'd like Engelbert to go to switch out and pick up that experience, come on, double battle me, double battle me, oh, no, um, Magical Leaf will ruin this square, so um, yeah, maybe we, maybe I have done this out of order. I really don't know anymore. I'm so confused, to be honest with you. Absolutely baffled. Um, who knows? And I just realized that Tentacle and Clampel that I mentioned that I caught in the Safari Zone by accident could have made good surface for us because just like we had Cutter on the team for a while, I suspect we're going to have to go and catch a specific surfer. I don't think anyone in our PC or party was going to be able to learn surf. Um, unless there's someone that I'm missing, but I can't think of anyone that could, so that's a little bit annoying. Um, we're gonna stay in against this. We're just gonna speed this up a little bit because oh, thought we would one shot. We're gonna slow back down again because I'm a little worried about this. What's nice to do? Endure easy, easy money, easy money. No reason to be scared. Miller, as you can see, seriously puts in some work. Um, Let's, let's get that crab ah let's get that crab hammer now there we go um, oh does this one shot that's strong it's got that it's got an increased critical hit ratio which you might have seen when we taught it to Miller um, designer Scott you are done my friend Miller is on fire right now come on Come on then, designer Webster. Whatever you have got, we can take. Um, we go for a magical leaf. I think this will. And I guess Solrock's pretty bulky. Um, Crab hammer should finish it off. There we go. There we go. Level 39. That's nice. Miller now fully, fully fledged member of the team. Um, oh, raising the team's defense. Chip Rita there. Spoint can come in. That's just fine and dandy. I wonder if Engelbert. Can you 
Engelbert's not on it at the minute, not on it at all. So we're going to have to switch out to Edvard. Fortunately, Edvard isn't one of the uh, grass starters with a dual typing. It's just pure grass type, I believe. It doesn't have that poison dual type like uh, Venusaur. So we're not going to take super effective damage from that. Uh, let's speed on through this as well because, you know, we want to get some stuff done in this episode. Um, after my recent exploits in the previous episode, my kind of, uh, my rampage with, with half of our team just being destroyed. It's been a little slow lately, been a little slow, just trying to catch up, trying to make things, make things right again. Um, but I feel like we, we got a, we got a decent team now, you know, between, oh, between Miller and Edvard being added to the team. They're, they're really, really powerful, really powerful special attackers, which is so nice for us to add to it, that kind of flying type core that we have, if you like, that that trio of flying types that have, have been carrying us for a minute now. Kurt will finish this off. If we can break through confusion. Um, come on, Edvard. Come on, you got this. There we go. There we go. Spoink is gone. A Mantine. Uh, yeah, we'll bring in Miller because I don't want it to use a strong flying type move. That's pretty bulky. Is Magical Leaf super effective still? Don't know, but we got a crit. We got a crit. So that's all good. Miller eats bubble beans. Miller eats bubble beans for days. That is not a problem at all for us. Not a problem at all. Um, I was watching something earlier. They were talking about. I can't remember who it was. They were talking about Mantine and how they got rid of the uh, little Remoraid under Mantine's arm in the new games. I have never noticed that. And it may well be true that in their 3D models they don't have that anymore. If that's true, then that's that's pretty crazy. I never thought about that. How its sprite art always had this this little remory just chilling. Um, that's a bit of a madness if they did change that. But anyway, let's take on the designer master, the master craftsman here. Ooh. Oh. Oh my days. Woo! Oh dear. I thought we were gone. We are switching out, in fact. We're not even trying to heal. I don't know how much. That did a lot. That did a lot, a lot. Um, 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 Yvette. Yvette can come in. At level 37, that's pretty high, to be fair. That's pretty high. So I'm guessing we were not... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh! I literally, honestly thought about switching in um, our ghost type, whose name again has gone Engelbert. I thought about bringing in Engelbert in case it did that, and I was like, nah, Engelbert will get bodied if it attacks us normally. <sighs> my my heart, my heart is, I thought Yvette was gone. I thought Yvette was gone, and I love Yvette. Yvette has become such a, like, I think it's the oldest, no, second oldest member of the squad now behind Maribella. Obviously Maribella is the OG. Is our I think our first encounter that we that we managed to catch. Um I want to poison powder this thing because I don't know what it's gonna do. Things like that. Um that's fine. That's fine. Edvard oh my goodness this does nothing. And the nice thing about poison powder is that once we've taken a bit of damage we can just synthesis up while uh while poison powder keeps chipping away, you know. So this turn will be the this, here we go. Now we synthesis. Yes, it might hit us with another egg bomb, but we'll be pretty much full HP. Hopefully it's minimized because the AI is not very good. Nope. But you know, we're still we're still looking good. We took what 16 damage in total that battle. That's not bad. And Chansey's gone. Chansey's gone. We can level up. That's a lot of experience. A lot of experience. Designer crystal is gone and giving us some money. Now, this is exciting. Oh, what are we going to have randomized from a Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee? They're both Miller, 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 Miller. Oh, Miller. Thank goodness. How much HP do you have left? Three. Whew. I completely forgot. Completely forgot. Um, that was close. That was very close. We need to buy some super potions. Never mind more Pokeballs to catch things with. You gotta look after your current squad first and foremost. And we need some super potions because the team is has been hurt, has been badly hurt. But there we go. We're, we're back on, we're back on. And I'm actually gonna give this Mystic 
No, wait, where's the spell tag? Do we have a... The spell tag psychic type or ghost? Ah, that's not so good. Um, so we're going to give this mystic water to... Two miller to power up that crab hammer. That's pretty nice. Hard kicking Golbat. Those legs are so frail, so spindly. I don't think they're kicking anyone especially hard. Okay, so Crowbat would be very nice, but I think we're going to go for Starmie here. I think we're going to go for Starmie. That's a pretty sweet gift Pokemon. Um, Starmie's power. Gender neutral, so I'm just going to generate another male name because I'm on male names. And hopefully it will work. Hopefully it will work, he says. Mert. Mert Raya. Again, very kind of Germanic sounding name. Um, maybe Austrian or something? I'm not sure. Mert Raya. That's R-E-I-E-R. -E -E Mert Raya. Our, uh, our Stami. You can't pick up this one as well, can you? Nope. That's greedy. I've just been told I'm greedy. I am greedy. We are doing a Dr. Luck right here. We have to be greedy. Uh, so Team Rocket are blocking off the gym. Which I'm guessing means we need to take them down again, which will be easy peasy. No problem whatsoever. Hyper Potions. They are expensive, my friend. We will take four nonetheless. I hate that you can't buy all items everywhere in this game. It does my head and I've mentioned it a few times in other episodes. It really bothers me. Um, okay, okay. Let's see. So I think Team Rocket are in there. Can we just... What's down here? Route 6. Oh, I know exactly where this is. Okay. And what is out to the east? What is on the east of this city? Oh, come on, we can walk through a door. Oh, actually, we can get a new encounter here because we never got an encounter in this bit of grass because we didn't have cut at that point. Um, I think I think that's why, or we skipped it, and then when we came back, we didn't have cut. So, and I'm sure there must be hidden items here somewhere. So let's get another encounter. It's probably not going to be great in this bit of grass. Meditite actually would be nice. Medicham's power. Um... This thing will go straight into a Great Ball. I am confident. I'm calling it now. One Great Ball, full HP, no problem. No problem at all. I was wrong. <laughs> okay, what we're going to do is we're going to switch in uh, Engelbert, who's the same level, and I don't think we'll take too much from a Confusion. No, we're going to hit it with the Astonish. We're going to hit it with another Astonish. And then we're going to throw the Luxury Ball because I don't want to waste an Ultra Ball on a level 17 Pokemon. I probably should have done that before the Great Ball, to be fair. You live and you learn, you know. Um, you live and you learn. That, that's that's how it goes sometimes. The Ultra Ball does not look as clean to me in this generation as it does in the new ones. The 3D model of the, oh, sorry, the Luxury Ball is nice, but I do not like the Sprite of the Luxury Ball at all. So that is another member well, another player to go on our bench. Another male Pokemon. So can we get a name for it? Tomo. Tomo Low. That is T-O-M-O. -O. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Here we go. T-O-M-O. -O. And then the surname is L-O-W-E. Tomo Low. That's pretty nice. And I'm now just going to wander around here. Quickly check for... Oh, there it is. There's one here. There we go, the EXP share! That's kind of crazy. And there's another one here. I think. Leftovers! Okay, what are these items? And I think there's one here. Dream Mail. It had to get, you know, we couldn't all be great items. Um, more Wild! That would have been sweet. I love More Wild. Its design is awesome. Don't. I like Mega More Wild. I do. But it's like Mega Absol to me and Mega, Mega Sableye. I already loved the original like designs of those Pokemon. I really didn't feel like they needed Mega Evolutions. Like I know they weren't that usable. I know they weren't that viable. You no know, Mega Morwell now has like the highest attack stat when you factor in its ability. I just liked its original design so much. I'm just like meh. I don't. I still prefer the original. I won't Mega Evolve it if I have one. Generally, same like Mega Gardevoir. 
I'm just like, I like the original, I don't know, I don't know, I'm, I guess I'm a bit, a bit boring like that. Um, so this is obviously where Team Rocket are. I feel like, again, do we have to go into the basement? Or what happens if we just go all the way to the top? How long has this episode been before I get too carried away? Um... How many floors are there? Okay, this is crazy. Um, oh my goodness. 9, 10, 11. Hey, an ultra ball. Um, there are 11 floors to this tower, so we're going to leave this for the next episode. There's no point trying to take half it on. Uh, this might take us a minute in the next episode, to be honest. So next episode is going to be the Silph Co. Uh, episode, which is going to be taking down this tower. And I guess saving the old bloke here, who's probably the president. Um, so yeah, it's been a bit of a weird episode today. Just been a lot of encounters, but it's been a lot of fun again. Thank you so much for loafing around with me. And I'll catch you again next time. Mm -hmm.